generally, the rule of law has been observed and respected since independence. It has kept our citizens relatively safe. There is structure and there are processes and procedures to try to bring the guilty to justice. Historically, the judiciary was seen as the most respected of the three planks of our democracy. But its image has undergone steady and significant erosion. Corruption and criminality in our legislature, processes and procedures, leaves little for victims to hold on to, for confidence and faith in the current legal system. Justice for many, the majority, often remains a mirage. We need to simplify and streamline our legal processes and procedures. We need a reform of our laws to make them simpler, more suitable, applicable and enforceable to support bring about the changes necessary in our society. We need to increase the number of judges and bring the judiciary and availability of legal judgment and the rule of law closer to our citizens. We need a truly independent ombudsman, a Jan Lokbau bill that is extensive in its reach and depth. We have become a society where there is no shame in being convicted of a crime, where an individual has no fear in being called a criminal, committing a crime or even going to jail. There is no real fear of being tried, prosecuted and sentenced. There is a blatant disregard for the law. We need to reform our law and simplify the law and enforce behaviour change through sentencing parameters. Sentences should be preventative and punitive. The law is a key mechanism for social and behavioural change. There are six measures. Number one, the number of pending cases that we have. Time for cases from submission to first hearing. The time for cases from first hearing to judgment the number of judges per citizen, the number of cases per citizen, and the number of cases dropped post-submission and before judgment. Law enforcement and internal security must significantly improve. It must transform itself to support the judiciary and the rule of law. We need a stronger, independent, single central agency for law enforcement and internal security. We need to remove political interference in their internal decision making. We have learned from our recent events that our law enforcement and internal security staff need to be better equipped. They need to have the tools, technologies, techniques, armaments and other paraphernalia necessary for them to do their job safely, swiftly and effectively. The numbers of law enforcement and internal security we have per citizen, it needs to significantly increase, and that per, let's say, 100 square kilometres. The number of criminal cases registered and resol uh, resolved, violent deaths, the cases of violence against women, caste and faith-based violence, and finally, number of deaths and injuries of our law enforcement and internal security personnel.